Good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And happy Wednesday morning. I did think what day of the week it is because I took a little bit of time off of work. But it was well needed. It's Wednesday morning, and I have another book review for you. Um, I read Frieda McFadden's newest book, The Teacher. Now, if you have been on this channel for any length of time, you will know I love Frida McFadden. I think she is such a good thriller author. Um, I've read every single one of her books, and she's got quite a few out there. Now, one of the reasons I love Frida McFadden is that she's extremely accessible. Every book of hers is on Kindle Unlimited. If you don't know what Kindle Unlimited is, it is a subscription through Amazon. I believe it is. I don't even know what I pay for it. But I feel like I pay like $10 a month. But there are thousands and thousands and thousands. And even good, well-known books that won the Goodreads Award last year. Books that you can rent on Kindle Unlimited, like a library system. You can have, I think it's 10 to 15 of them at a time. And um, all of her books are on there. So they are free to read. And I read The Teacher. I had intended to read other things. But I don't know. I've just been in a weird reading space where I want to read what I want to read in this moment. Um, I am reading this week at, um, because I have to before my library hold goes up. The new Lee, I believe it's, her last name is Bardugo series. So Ninth House and Hellbent, I am reading that. I'm reading another thriller right now. Uh, the last one or something like that. I stole it on TikTok. It's essentially about a ghost cruise ship almost is what I am getting the vibes of. She wakes up and there's nobody else on this cruise ship with her. So I'm excited to see where this goes. But for now, I am here to talk about the teacher. Frida McFadden writes thrillers. She writes very quick, easy to read thrillers. That is just what her niche is. And <clears throat> I have loved every one. I don't think I've ever given a Frida McFadden less than three stars. And most of hers gets like four to four and a half stars from me. Um, and this is a four star read. I really liked it. I liked the premise of it. Essentially, you have this married couple who are both teachers, and they are both mostly in the beginning of this story. It is told through two POVs of Eve, who is the female teacher, and a female student named Addie or Adeline. And um, the female teacher is having an affair on her male teacher husband, and he is, um, you know, this really handsome really well-liked teacher that everybody just loves but she finds you know a few years into their marriage quite boring and um, there's a big age gap which is probably part of why she finds him so boring she's in her 20s he's in his late 30s but he's extremely athletic and attractive and kept himself up very well which is why she found him most attractive when we met him well when she met him we don't know when she met him or how long they've been together at this point um we just know that they are married, have been for some time. And she is having an extramarital affair. She has a problem with shoes, like high heels, very name brand expensive high heels. And they just kind of go about their lives as very different people. They have a very scheduled marriage. She gets three kisses a day. They have sex every first Saturday of the month only. Like very scheduled marriage. And Addie had a lot of issues last year where she got very close to a teacher because her father um, passed away mysteriously. He was an alcoholic and he fell down the stairs. Um, we learn in this book that she kind of pushed him down the stairs, but she was struggling. She got very close to this older teacher 
and then somebody saw her sneaking around his house and all of a sudden there was all these accusations about her and this teacher that never happened and um so it's the beginning of the school year the next year and Addie is not making any friends she's not any of these things because you know all these rumors that teacher was beloved and got fired and nothing had ever happened so we're navigating this new school year with Eve, who is unhappy in her marriage and unhappy at her job, really. She's a math teacher. She doesn't even like the students. She finds it very, very, um, what's the word? Monotonous, if you would, her life in general. You have Addie, who is miserable in her own life because she has no friends. And nobody will talk to her. And, um, yeah, that's kind of a lot of the the scene reset for the beginning half of this novel. And then about midway through this novel, you find, you find a shift because Nate, the male teacher who's married to Eve, um, has taken a liking to Addie. He has kind of taken her under his wing and nurtured her and groomed her because he, in fact, does want to have a sexual relationship with her. And um, so he begins one with her. And you kind of start to see all the red flags that you were glossing over for the first half of this book. Farina McFadden's really good at that. Seeing things at the end that make you think back to things that happened in the beginning and you go, oh, wow, what the heck? I, I remember her saying that, or I remember him doing that. And um, essentially, this, this affair goes on between the student and the teacher. And his wife finds out. And murder happens, and chaos ensues. And yeah, it is a really good thriller. It's one of those that at the beginning of the book, you know, someone was murdered. But, you know, you don't know who until the end of the book. And um, it's not even who you think. It flips it multiple times on you. There are tons of big reveals. Like, oh, this was this person. Oh, this person did this thing. Oh, that makes sense why their marriage was the way that it was. So, yeah. It is a very good read. I gave it four stars. Very quick read. I think I read that one in like a day and a half definitely around 20 to 48 hours. And it was just a good read. I highly recommend it to anyone who likes thrillers or anyone who has read Frieda McFadden's work. You won't be disappointed. It is right up Frieda McFadden's alley. And it was brilliant. I thought that it was a really great twist at the end with the revenge story. And I just really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, if you like revenge stories, um, thrillers, whodunits, pick up The Teacher by Frieda McFadden and you won't be disappointed. I love you guys so, so much. I will see you on Saturday with hopefully a review of Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a review of Ninth House or if I'm going to wait and then do a review of Ninth House and Hellbent together um, because it is the two books that are out in that series. It really is going to um, go by how much I like Ninth House. Like if I'm riding the train after I get done with Ninth House, as I do, then I will definitely jump on here Saturday morning and talk about the book and let you know if it's horrible or great. Um, but we shall see. If it's only mid, I will probably wait until I finish both of the books. That way I can come on here and talk concisively about both of the books that are out and available for you so far. Yeah, but I love you guys so, so much, like I said, and thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all of those things. It definitely motivates me to keep coming on here three times a week and talking about books and things like that. So I will see you guys on Saturday morning.